This video is about how to use a certain biofeedback recording sheet on an Android phone. I developed the app because carrying the paper sheet was way more cumbersome than having the data recorded on my phone. Here is a paper copy of the Daily Home Practice recording sheet. Please note that it has a copyright and should not be copied or reproduced without permission. This app is available from the Google Play Store under the name of DHBRS, Daily Home Practice Recording Sheet. The source code is available at GitHub. The source code at GitHub may be an updated version of the Android app that you download from the Google Play Store. The code is open source and you are free to modify it according to the license listed. And all data recorded is stored on your Android phone and is not sent anywhere unless you specifically ask the app to share it with someone. Here are some written directions. Following this PowerPoint session is a short video capture of the DHPRS app being used on an Android phone. Here is a disclaimer. Feel free to stop the video and read the disclaimer if you wish. To start your daily home practice recording sheet app, simply find the DHPRS app and click on it. The first screen will come up with a message that says please get started by adding some records by clicking on the button below. In this case on the bottom right there will be a floating action button that you can click. Click on it and up will come a screen so you can add the information just like it would be on your daily home practice recording sheet and paper. So I would press on the date button and up would come a date and I could change that. I'm going to just accept the default, click OK. Time button, same thing, click OK. Practice type, now this requires a keyboard entry. And in my case I'm going to put in P, M, R. That's for practice type. Practice aid. I'm going to choose recording. I went to the selector by this upside down triangle and that will allow me to give whichever one I want to choose. And the symptom before, again there's an upside down triangle, it's just a selection. I'm going to pick five. Stress before, and I'm going to pick five. And then to save this, in the top right there's a check mark and that's where you go to save. Now you notice there's doesn't give you any amount of time or anything right there. Now so we wait a minute or two or we do our exercise and then we want to record how long it took. So to go back to the exercise once I'm through, click on the exercise and you'll see now it's 4.04. The time that it started was 4.02. So it's a two minute so I'm going to go to where it says practice length and put in two. Also symptom after, in this case we've got some improvements, so I'm going to say 4 and the stress after, I'm going to put 4 again and I en can enter a comment if I wish. In this case I'm just going to type in comment. And so now everything's complete, then I click on the uh, check mark to save the new entry. One other thing, I want to go back to it in this case and show you that you've got two choices here. One is to share and you can share this using email and the other one is delete this entry. I'm not going to do either one of these right now but it, that's an option for you. Back to my main screen there's another menu option up here on the top right and it's called Edit Practice Aids. I just simply click on it and then you'll see that I have the practice aids that came down. You could scroll up and down and pick one. In my case I'm going to go to Paper, select Paper. I could delete it if I wish but I'm going to edit it so I simply click on Paper, the Paper, and Add Nest Papers and then to save it I would click again on the check mark Go back to our main screen and if I click on P 
PMR again where it says recording and then I could see that now it says papers instead of paper. And that's pretty much it for using the daily home practice recording sheet on your phone. I developed this because I found it was a lot easier to use on the phone rather than filling out the sheet in paper. So you're welcome to use it free if you wish and there's no way I keep any information. Everything is stored on your phone. Thank you.